you can have a best product and you can be cheaper than each and everyone else but you won't get tons of sale if you have really done your search engine optimization for ebay search and discovery you will rank on a first page even your price is little bit expensive than other people so in this video i will walk through i will actually show you i will do it myself i will do the listing with you and i will show you how ebay search engine optimization works so you can get tons of sales from the first day as well this video is sponsored by awesome awesome is market leading accounting and bookkeeping solution specially designed for e-commerce sellers so i will leave the link for them inside the description i will tell you further down in a line let me show you how to properly list the item on ebay so once you will click on create listing this is how each and everything gonna look like first thing which i recommend it is personal preference at the end of day you click on these three arrows like dots on the top right here and then click on switch to classic view the reason i'm switching to classic view i said it's a personal preference i'm used to the old layout of listing but both of your new style of a listing like this page right here and the old page which i'm going to switch it back to old page are exactly the same just the design bit is actually different what i want to do in this particular video is try to explain to you how ebay algorithm work how ebay search engine optimization work at the end of day so you really know the brain and core behind it how it works so that's where you will be able to do your listing and get the sales instantly as well if you can improve three things inside your ebay listing improve your title first because that's gonna massively impact your sale second thing improve your pictures that's on the second and i will talk about then about it how your pictures should be as well and the third thing is item specification not item description a lot of people spend useless time trying to make a design inside their item description which does impact on the sale but not massively impact on a sale first thing is a title what we need to do inside the title we need to use keywords inside the title the words which people ebay customer use to find these products that we are trying to sell for example i have a mobile phone right here i can call it a cell phone I can call it a mobile phone if a lot of people are using a word mobile phone then there is no point of using a word cell phone inside my title this is what we do this is where ebay algorithm will find the exact match and they will rank our product on a first page because it gives ebay algorithm the exact match it gives them what the customer is looking for what word they are using at the end of day and there are ways to find out there are free ways to find out which have some limitations but i will show you and there are paid ways to find out which are totally going to be worth at the end of day i will show you both so the first thing let's say i'm trying to sell iphone cable this thing will work for each and everything whatever you are trying to sell no matter where you are and what product it is going to be at the end of day so let's say i'm trying to sell iphone cable now i can write something which comes on the top of my head but selling and trying to understand ebay algorithm it's more about trying to read analytics at the end of day so the free way of doing it what words people are typing around iphone cable i can simply go on to ebay and i can type this one in ebay search right and ebay search right here will give me some recommendations so for example uh iphone cable original all of these words they are suggesting because that's what customer type most of the time it's like you try to type something on a google and google will give you autofill suggestions that's how exactly work inside the ebay as well but the problem with it the limitations with it that i don't have exact analytics how many times these people are looking for this particular item either they are typing iphone cable genuine more or they are typing iphone charger more so that's why i use a tool which called zeek analytics i do have a link inside the description which will give you discount but i really love this tool for ebay product research i have a 
uh, a video on that one as well. I will link that inside the description. But inside the Zeek Analytics, uh, there is a, a section called Title Builder. And this is how the Title Builder look like. So if I type the word iPhone cable right here, I can just simply see how many times these uh, words are being searched as well. So cable is being used 62,000 times. Lead is being used 34,000 times. So as compared to I call it cable, I call it lead. Both of them have the same meaning. Like we all know that, but a lot of people use the word cable. So it's better for me to use the word cable as compared to something else. You know what I mean? So if I'm trying to use the exact word, this is where my sale gonna improve as well. So how I can use these keywords and try to make title out of them as well. So first one, iPhone, I already have a keyword. So what I will do, I will type iPhone cable rather than iPhone cable, I will do iPhone charging cable. Uh, I already have word cable iPhone charging cable, and then I will use the word, we have a word fast, and then we have a word charging as well. So then I will do fast, rather than using the word charging, I will use the word charger this time, because the charger is also a keyword at the end of day. Fast charger, and then what I want to do, I want to use the word lead as well because that have a decent search volume at the same time. So I will use the word lead as well. I will do lead and then I will do for because there are some models which are really hot selling. So for example, most people looking for cable for iPhone 13, 12, iPhone 12 and 11, so I will do iPhone 13, 12, 11, and then I will see what other keyword which I can use, which will fit perfectly uh, inside the things which I'm trying to sell. The cable USB lead, uh, I don't think so it's going to make any sense at the end. Not all the time your title have to actually make sense. Like let's say a word a USB iPhone charger at the end right here. So I will do this one and I will do USB iPhone charger at the end. And that that's perfectly fine because nobody going to read all this title. It's mostly for eBay algorithm to give it enough information so it can promote our product on the first page. So this is right here. Our title is ready, but we are not done with the keywords. We still need to use them inside our item description and I will show you how we can make most out of them right there. So the second important thing is actually pictures. Before we move on to the picture, please just take one second to subscribe to this channel because I was looking at my analytics and half of the people who watch my channel, they are not subscribed to my channel. And if you have any question, literally any question, no question is big and small, feel free to ask me in the comments. I reply to each and every question that I get inside the comment. So let's get on with the pictures. Now we have a pictures right here. Inside the pictures, eBay allow you to add 12 pictures for free. I wouldn't, like personally, I wouldn't even bother to list my product if I don't have minimum, minimum six pictures. And how those pictures should be, that's very, very important. First of all, let me put the pictures right here. I have the pictures on the desktop. You see right here, I have a word called iPhone cable one, iPhone cable two, iPhone cable three, four. Like I actually typed, I renamed my files, what is inside, because I want to give this information to eBay algorithm. A lot of people, they say it doesn't really matter, but in my opinion, every little thing you can do, which you think it will help, I would do that because it doesn't take a lot of time for me to change the name of the files as well. So. I will take, I will select all, I have a six pictures for this one. We'll upload that. And then I will actually show you my pictures right here. I might have to change the size for them. Uh, that's why these uh, things are coming, which I, I will do, but for the purpose of this videos are fine. I have four images, one, two, three, four, which is exactly showing the product of mine. So first one right here, you can see it's exactly showing the product and then the second one we have right here, 
which is also exactly showing the product. Then we have a third one right here, which is exactly showing the product right here as well. And then what I normally do, I try to show, use, uh, show you the real kind of life scenario of those items. You know, this girl is sleeping and then, you know, we have these cables underneath it. It makes it a little bit more attractive. And that's another example of it. Like, you know, personal can really imagine this is how the cable going to look like. So I have this particular uh, picture right here as well. That's a real life scenario. So you have three to four pictures where you're trying to show your product like every different angle. Then you have one or two pictures possibly showing the real life use of it. And then you must have the picture, which I normally put at the, the second place, which is trying to tell the unique selling point of that particular item that you're trying to sell. So in this case, this cable is a little bit different than other cable. It have a angle of this one is the way that you can still use your mobile phone once you're charging. Like it doesn't come in the way. So that's why I have this particular picture right in there because that's my unique selling point for this particular item as well. Remember six pictures, rename them, try to use two to three pictures of the product which actually show your product try to show the real life use of those products as well for example if you're selling uh, candles for example like light those candle up put them on a table and take a pictures you don't have to be extraordinary professional to take the pictures like you can literally take your pictures with a mobile phone so mobile phones have a, a decent camera nowadays as well and then i will just uh, leave it as 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 it was i don't like uh, pay three pound extra to show my image like a larger inside the search result it doesn't really impact as well so before we move on to third important thing which is item specification and i will add item description as a bonus because we still need to use those keywords if you remember i want to literally take 30 seconds to tell you about the sponsor of this video which is awesome and i've been with them for a really long time i love them i used to use uh, softwares which i'm not gonna name for my bookkeeping so the thing with those softwares is like you have to do everything manually you have to spend a lot of time feeding the data inside ever since i started using awesome all of that became automated so i can link with my ebay account i can link the software with my amazon account and i can see everything at one place and also on the top of that once you are using some other software at the end of the month at the end of the financial year i should say you will have to have an accountant which can look over each and everything make sure you have done everything right and obviously you pay for the software and you pay for the accountant as well. So you end up paying extra. The thing with Awesome, everything you get all at one place. So they, they give you the software and at the end of the financial year, they actually do your tax return for you. If you are somebody who is just starting out, they can help you with the company formation, explain you about your tax responsibilities. All of that you can start by using a link inside the description and it will take you to this landing page where you can put your name. They will call you back. You can ask them any questions that you have. Get started with them and I will leave the link for that inside the description. Again, thank you so much to Awesome for sponsoring this video. Now we're going to talk about obviously item specification. But if you have your like decent picture, you've done your optimization for the title, it's not that your product will show up on the first page only in eBay. The chances are your product might show in a Google search as well. And once you are trying to bring a customer from Google over to eBay, trust me, eBay really loves it. And every product that you list on your store, they will try to promote it heavily because you are a reason where people are coming to eBay platform. They might not buy the exact item that you were selling, but they probably before they leave the app, they will buy something else. So that's why it is very important to really optimize so you can drive the traffic from outside the eBay at the same time. So now we have an item specification. Inside the item specification, what I want you to do is to keep an eye on this blue circle right here, because that is very important. The more information that I'm going to fill, the, the circle will become blue and blue. So for example, this is unbranded. You see, it's become a little bit more blue. This is a uh, eight pin, 30 pin light, a dual USB as well. It's not USB type C, so that's fine. Uh, this is for Apple. 
And then for iPhone X, I will try to, you know, fill up as much information I can. But you can see right here, this circle is becoming more blue. You see, it's not like I, I would like in the ideal case scenario, I would like to have the circle all the way, way to, to the blue. But the more blue it is, the better chances of your product is showing up inside the eBay search. Now we are on item description. So inside the item description, we still need to use our keywords. Use these keywords. I will try to use all of them. It's not like you can copy all these ones and you can like literally stuff inside the eBay description. That is actually against terms and condition. You have to make like a paragraph out of them. So what I will do, the first one is uh, for Apple iPhone. This cable is for Apple iPhone model 12, 11, like I'm trying to, if I say this cable is for iPhone 13, 12, 11, uh, this, uh, this also charge your phone faster because the fast charging is also a keyword right here. Then I can say this lead uh, does support a fast charging function. Uh, and then what other keywords, you know, you get the point at the end of the day without with these keywords, you will actually try to make the paragraph and you will type all those inside your description that a lot of people don't know this. This is not a pitch. I can tell you absolutely 100% the things that you need to know to sell on eBay. You can find them on this channel for absolutely free. You don't need to buy my course. The course is for somebody who want to really learn something in a short period of time as an organized manner, as a step-by-step -step guide. It's They want to have a system. They want to have everything all in one place where they can jumpstart their journey. And if you want to save time, you've got a money to invest. It's a great investment. We have a hundred pound off as well. I will leave the link for that inside the description. The system that we have created inside that course, the one I teach, I have a great testimonials as well. So absolutely you don't need to buy. I'm not saying you have to like buy to learn something. You can learn on internet for free. Like that's the way we live in 2022. Hello, but it takes time to try to figure out and put the pieces together. So that's the reason I created the course for somebody who want to really jumpstart their journey. Somebody who would really want to learn as quickly as possible. The course have a implementable steps that you can create a system for yourself to find the product, sell them faster, make money. Link is inside the description. So you made it until here. I will give you a bonus. You remember the pictures where I talked about on the picture, there was some text, there was some badges. That's the way you make your pictures more stand out. So you can add like a UK flag. This product is coming from UK, all that kind of stuff as well. I have a video which will tell you everything for free. Absolutely. I'm going to put that video right here somewhere. It's going to pop up and I will leave for link for that one inside the description along with our sponsor for the video today. Awesome.